All right, guys, December 5th, 2023, we have a Bitcoin update, a CPU crypto mining update with NiceHash, and uh, we'll do a Raptorium update as well, what I've been doing with my Raptorium. So three things, guys, three things. Grab a seat, get your notepad ready. Here we go. All right, Bitcoin, we have seen a break 44,000. Amazing. Uh, ever since sun, uh, Saturday, about... 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, that's when things started to move up. Breaking 40, going up to 42. And then keep going, baby. Not to the moon, but just 44. Now we're at 43,950. I've been dollar cost averaging in a couple bucks here and there through either Fidelity or doing actually some swapping. Not wife swapping, but swapping on uh, one of my wallets. You can actually swap. Uh, say, um, oh, let's pick one, BAT, the basic attention token for Bitcoin. And you'll pay a fee, but what else am I going to do? Move the BAT to an exchange, have to find my freaking account on that exchange and sell it for more fees, <clears throat> and then convert it to Bitcoin, right? Sell, exchange it to Bitcoin, pay the fees. It's still on the exchange to get that damn thing off the exchange. Never leave your coins on the exchange, okay? Life lesson number three, because not your keys, not your coins. They could shut down. You lose everything. Pay another transaction fee to get it back to my wallet. Boom. So I just do the swap. Painless. Comes it through in a couple minutes. Done. Get rid of the turd coins that aren't performing. And then get me some of that yummy Bitcoin. Yeah. All right. That's what I, that's, that's my strategy there. All right. So we have Bitcoin at 44. Let's just say round up. 44 ETH 22. Not moving as much. And uh, Litecoin is kind of disappointing. 73. I don't know, man. I don't know what the deal is Litecoin. They had such hopes for it when I bought it back in 2017. Hopes for Litecoin to the moon. No, not to the moon on Litecoin. Uh, I'm thinking about swapping that to Bitcoin. Again, do it over time with dollar cost averaging. Swap, swap cost averaging, if you will, if that makes sense. But again, you have to watch what is, say, Litecoin to the Bitcoin valuation. It's different than the fiat valuation. So you have to look at the charts. Sometimes, man, I just hit it. Just get, get me out of this damn coin, get me into Bitcoin. All right, guys, so that's it. What do we got on this? This is coin360.com right here. What's this, oh, what's this thing right here? Can you guys see that? You can't see that, can you? It's a little, st here, can I move that? I'm gonna click it. It says stake claim now, watch me break it. Don't ever click on stuff you don't know what's going to do. Oh, no. Oh, God, you're witnessing me do something stupid. I have no idea what this is going on. We're witnessing this together. It's steak.com. Not the food steak, but staking. Ah! Oh, my God. Sorry, steak.com isn't available in your region, but steak.us might be. I clicked that off, Coin360. That was dumb. Don't click on stuff you don't know what it is. Life lesson number 10. All right, close that puppy. I'm done with Coin360. So my I know stuff is where I had Raptorium. Let's do that next. Uh, what I've been doing is I'm just going to pull it all out of the rewards and I'm going to put it in my local wallet to make sure I was doing this Raptorium core wallet thing correctly. It's uh, I downloaded it. it. Took forever to update the blockchain. Got eventually probably a day a day later. It's all updated. Uh, I started the mine right here on this laptop using XM rig. Uh, going to uh, which pool? Raptorium Zone pool and getting paid out to this wallet right here. I set up a receiving address. Uh, let's see. Can, how do I do this? Ah! Yeah, I set up a receive address. I just put inodes. That's where I'm actually going to get my rewards from eventually. Well, that's a lot. That's not a lot of money, but it's a couple bucks, right? Anything over five bucks is a lot of money to me. So what I did, I set up this. Uh, receive wallet mine to it by going into the, the batch script right that's all you do you go into the batch script this is uh, where your um stratum is let's go look at it you everyone always wants to know so here i'm running xm rig it's uh using algorithm gr which is ghost rider stratum which is the mining pool raptorium.zone it could be zerg pool it could be supernova you, you can go crazy there's a lot out there uh, Raptorium Zone, which I previously was sending to my inode Z onboarding address. 
And then I said, ah, let's just see if this works. It's been a while. It's been over a year since I've done this crap, so I'm rusty. Put in the uh, Raptorium receive wallet for my Raptorium core wallet address. So just want to make sure it worked. I went over here. It took a while for them. You know, I mined them. Then they got matured. Oh, let's go look at it. Big daddies. There we go, big daddies. You can see. You go to Raptorium zone. That's raptorium.zone. You put in your wallet address. If you want to send me some Raptorium, right here it is. Send me all you got. I'll take it. it. Might be worth 10 cents, but I'll take it. So I went on mining. I had a bunch of rigs on. I have to six rigs playing around, just trying to see what I can mine. Uh, then I just wanted to get over 100. So I did that. Got the 100, proved the wallet works. Blammo. And then I put in my withdrawal request on this smart node, I know Z. So I said, dump it all, baby. Dump it all down to this wallet. I want my Raptorium on my wallet where I control it. And that's where I'm at right now. I think that goes through. If you don't want to wait, you can opt out and you pay a fee. But you, I'm just going to wait to the end of the month. And then I think they turn off the smart nodes. They collect whatever they have to. And they, um, boom, pay out. And if you look at the payouts too on iNodeZ, it looks like there's a lot pending for December. So maybe people know what I don't know. It's not going up. Most of the altcoins aren't going up with Bitcoin, which is really weird lately. Uh, usually they're one and one, you know, every time Bitcoin goes up, Litecoin, Ethereum, and some of the uh, lower level altcoins would go with it. But not now. They're all kind of just eh, going down a little bit while Bitcoin goes. It just doesn't seem to be the consistent trend, which all goes, I think, back to the BlackRock ETF and all that stuff. I think that's the uh, ETF, Bitcoin ETF. It's not altcoin ETF. It's Bitcoin ETF. So I think the major players, the guys with Mabugu Bucks, just care about Bitcoin. Not even ETH, they care about Bitcoin. Because ETH is only 2200. With the price moving of Bitcoin, I think ETH would be at like 5,000 by now. Nap, nap. Or even Litecoin, come on. Yeah. All right. Yeah, no. All right, so that's what I've been doing with Raptorium. Kind of did the whole ecosystem video the other day. So you get a gist of, if you have any questions, let me know. Again, this applies to most any altcoin. This, they're all using kind of the same base wallet, the QT wallet. And then they customize it for their coin and then blammo blammo you mine to a pool you get your you get your coins you can stake them you can then just put them in your wallet and then you can you know swap them or you can send them to an exchange and sell them whatever but you got to go to an exchange that actually handles that coin uh which are on the all coins there's only a few so you got to watch that all right enough of that you guys all all come here for only this is the fomo of cpu mining is it over what do you guys think let's go look Blammo. Hold on. <laughs> uh, where's my OBS? All right. Oh, let's see. What do we got here? We got seven rigs now. What I did, I added an AMD Ryzen 5, an older one, 1600 series, six core processor, getting me a whopping 3.68 kilohash. The other ones are the Ryzen 9 3900 XS 12 core processors with 12, approximately 12 kilohash a second. Uh, sometimes the reporting's not always concurrent with what's on the rig. So yeah, you can just reload the page or just know it's just a reporting issue. Like this one's kind of low, 1071, that's usually about 12. Uh, this one too, yeah, they'll update. There's the 3950 at 13.6 kilohash. So they're all running pretty decently, right? And I put the voltage mod in there to down, put the voltage down to 1.1 and the temps are pretty nice hovering about 60 degrees celsius one day i'll learn metric system but in america we don't care about that all right so what are we doing so this was up to ten dollars current actual probability about maybe 20 minutes ago now it's back down 875 fluctuations are between about seven and 12 bucks over the past day uh <clears throat> i've started this november 21st turning on one or two rigs and go, oh my God, I'm getting $2.50 per rig. You know, now it's about what? Um, I think it's a buck, buck 30 and change, maybe something like that. Uh, so it's dropped a little bit, but here's my uh, Bitcoin collected since the 21st, 0.00352215 Satoshis. It's better than what I had before November 21st, which was zero. So I'm adding to my I'm adding to my bag of coins, which is nice. Uh, this is the spot value 155.04 based on the current 
uh, Bitcoin price. So is FOMO worth it? You're seeing people out there putting these videos up like this, getting these hash rates, getting a couple bucks here and there. Um, is it worth to go out and buy hardware? Is it worth to go out and set up rigs? I would say no, because only do it if you have the existing hardware. And again, this is all leftover stuff from your year and a half ago when GPU mining was big. I also decided to complement it with CPU mining just for fun because it took less electricity, produced less heat, uh, less noisy, and smaller form factor. Beautiful. Uh, now it's paying off. So it took a while, but making a couple bucks, it's not life-changing money. It's just fun money, uh, hobby money. But if I were to go out and buy a Ryzen 9 3900, 3900X right now off Amazon, it's what, 300 bucks or so or more? Depends on scalping. How long would it take to get your ROI? And how do you know this mining is going to be this profitable come Tuesday? You know, you, it might, well, today's Tuesday. Uh, next week, it might drop down to you're getting 30 cents per rig. It's just not worth it then. So you got to watch that. So I think FOMO is a bad thing. And I, I was guilty of that with the GPU money. You just get crazy. You buy all the GPUs. You're trying to find ways to get the GPUs at cost. You know, it's just a whole different world. You just, it's fear. It's FOMO. You want to get in. Uh, let's see what else. There's probably better ways maybe to crank this up, but I'm not going to mess with it because nothing's crashing. It's been running pretty steady. And uh, other than me bouncing it to change some of the miners to point at the Raptorium pool just to test out the uh, Raptorium wallet so I can get my stuff off iNode Z and just put it in my wallet and probably just dump it. I'll, to, I'll to then upload the Raptorium to an exchange, dump it for Bitcoin, boom, put the Bitcoin back in my wallet. Yeah, I have a certain level of Bitcoin I want to get to. And then I'll be a happy little Bitcoiner. Bitcoin Jim will be happy. And then all will be good with the world. Bitcoin, same thing, 43.9. ETH, 2200. I don't care about ETH. I should dump that too. Uh, Litecoin is 73. Yeah. Man, I don't know. Yeah, let me know what you guys are doing. Are you buying? Are you buying hardware? Are you mining? Are you, are you buying outright through an exchange, through Fidelity or Vanguard or one of these uh, big companies that now offer crypto purchases. I found that Fidelity only does Bitcoin and Ethereum. And that's fine. Uh, that is all good and well. So are you dollar cost averaging in? Are you mining? Are you staking? Are you selling? I'm just curious, post down below. I love to hear. If you have any recommendations on other stuff? All right, on that note, guys, if you have any value in this, give a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I will talk to you later. I'm out of here, guys.